Sometimes all you need in audio is a good flagship PM. Today we are going to review the Sounds Avant. This is an in-ear monitor or IM as we typically call it, priced at 1390 euros or US dollars and it has 10 balanced armature drivers playing for each ear. This is handmade in Greece. This is a Greek product, the first Greek product if I'm not mistaken that we're reviewing an audio file heaven. The unboxing experience is quite interesting. It comes with a little sleeve then we have a little box and inside of the box we have the toolbox of the Avant includes some stickers, a little clip for your shirt, some tips and a cleaning tool. This is the Sounds Avant. It is an EM made to be worn inside of your ears. It has a switch so you can engage or disengage the bass. Basically it has two modes, one in which it has more bass and one in which it has less bass. The cable is a pretty basic cable. In fact, it is the only thing that I'm going to have to complain about during today's review because the cable is what we typically see with most EMs. It is not a special cable in any way. They do not come with a balanced cable and they cannot be purchased with a balanced cable. So you'll have to resort to an aftermarket cable if you want to go balanced. The EMs are connected to the cable by a two pin connector, which is very common and good because you can find the replacement cable easily and you are likely to have a around the house already. The cable is finished in a 3.5 millimeter single-ended jack and it has about 1 meter and 20 centimeters in length. The EMs are made of a special ratio which is very body compatible which means that while wearing them you will feel like you are not wearing anything. Those EMs really make themselves disappear while they are inside of your ears. Although those can be purchased custom so they can be made customly for your ears only. The pair I have here is an universal which means that they connect to the ear via a silicone tip. I typically have a better experience with silicone tips because I do not have my impressions taken already in Romania. We do not really have a doctor that takes those impressions. The thing with the Avant though is that although this is the universal version the resin they are made of is very biocompatible. After warming up you really don't really feel the resin anymore. It's like it is molded to your ear. It, it feels like I'm wearing nothing. They literally dissolve inside of my ears. And that is a good thing because I'm always having a good comfort with the Avant. I can simply keep wearing them. They isolate very well from the outside noise between 25 and 35 decibels of passive noise isolation, which is a custom level of passive noise isolation. There is no ventilation that I can see, but they do not present any kind of flex or any comfort issue. Actually, there is no driver flex because there are no dynamic drivers, but there is no void either. They feel quite comfortable. The Avant is quite easy to drive, but also quite sensitive to hissing and to background noise. After much experimenting, I have noticed that I can hear some background hissing and some noise with sources that are more hiss or noise prone. The overall sound and tonality of the Avant is quite special because usually when we have a flagship, it tends to be good in resolution good in clarity, but most flagships tend to have a very, very detailed sound that focuses on a critical listening experience, but typically are not very warm or very smooth and typically try to do everything in the most dry, most precise way possible. Sounds Avant goes for exactly the other experience. They try to be as smooth, as musical and as fluid as possible, all while still having the detail and resolution of a flagship. This is actually something they achieve quite well they tend to sound extremely delightful like they're super super smooth very liquid in texture so you can expect a wet texture if you are into music production and know what that means it is basically a way to describe the transients which are the textures in music transients usually means textures Having a wet character means that everything is smooth, fluid and organic. It is very, very fun to listen to and very enjoyable. Usually having a dry texture means that everything is extremely obvious and evident, but at the same time it can be fatiguing and hard to listen to for longer periods of time. With the Sounds of Ant, I have noticed that they are very easy to enjoy for really long periods of time. So after starting to wear them, it takes me about half an hour to get used to the sound signature and to the comfort. And after that, I literally don't feel them anymore. I can simply keep listening to them, I keep them in my ears and I don't feel the need to take them out. Like I don't need a pause. It is rare that I don't need a pause with an ear. Most EMs tend to give me the feeling that I need to take them out after about an hour. While with the sounds of Ant, I, I literally 
can keep them in. This is what I mean when I say that the Reshin they are made of is very biocompatible. You can actually configure yours to have any model you want. The one I have has this very simple black color with the Avant logo on the faceplate, but you can get them in any color with any model you want, including transparent, so you can see the drivers inside and so you can see the cables that connect the EMs. I personally liked having the most vanilla flavor that the company has to offer. Of course, having a very warm tonality means that you have a lot of bass and the bass is enhanced both in the sub bass, bass and even at times in the mid bass. But there is one little trick to that. They can be configured to sound quite neutral and quite linear from the switch. I prefer them with the switch engaged. So this is the signature when the bass mode is on. You can set the bass mode to be off and that is Probably what I would advise if you are looking for the most critical listening experience possible, but having the tonality made linear will still make them sound smooth, balanced, and incredibly wet in character. This has the disadvantage of less impact and less punchiness because having more bass tends to make the sound more punchy. The sound of the Avant can also be described as one of the most technically capable yet cleanest sounds possible. Having this kind of presentation where the sound has as little dryness and as little fatigue as possible also makes the sound incredibly clean and clear. It helps a lot when you want to listen to music, which would otherwise be quite harsh or sharp. For example, I can enjoy bands like Infant Annihilator far more with the sounds of Ant than with a more technically capable but more fatiguing sounding EM. It is easier to enjoy with most music, including Iron Maiden or most rock and metal bands than, for example, Final Audio A8000, which is really clear. It is excellent in resolution, but it is so incredibly sharp that it becomes fatiguing quite easily. The closest comparison to the sounds of Ant that I know of is Dita Audio Perpetua. Perpetua is actually quite similar, the signature is quite similar, and Perpetua is slightly better in every aspect possible, including dynamics, detail, resolution, and the overall clarity, but the Perpetua has the disadvantage of being more than twice as expensive. So you can grab the sounds of Ant, for less than half the price of the Perpetua, you would still have money for both a source, even a DAP or a high-end DAC camp for desktop, and a high-end cable in the same money that you can purchase just the Perpetua. So, you know, the guys that sounds really make a compelling offer with their Avant. This is the flagship of the company. The base switch can also be actuated by hand. You don't have to use the included tool. You just click, click. I don't know if you can hear this. I think it is a very satisfying little sound. Overall, this is a really well-made, high-resolution EM that doesn't break the bank. Compared to most high-end flagships, it is actually not that pricey, which is crazy to say this. It is so pricey, and yet there are EMs and flagships that are considerably more expensive than this sounds Avant. As far as the pairings go, one of my favorite pairings with it is the GDS Labs Element 3 Mark II Boosted, which has the neat future of having a little AQ so I can add a bit more treble sparkle when I feel like it. But I think that for someone who is easily fatigued, this presentation is perfect the way it is. They don't need more treble, but in my typical listening habits, I prefer having just a tiny bit more treble. So I like the bass, it is full, it is lush, and it is enough for my tastes, and I am a bit of a bass head, but the treble needs a little bit of extra to sound its best. And GDS Labs Element 3 Mark II Boosted is a great way to do that because it has an embedded EQ that is applied to all signals. It has separate EQ profiles for the RCA output and for the headphone output. It also has a single-ended headphone output, so you can connect something like this sounds of Ant with the default 3.5 millimeter jack without fear of burning them, and everything works perfectly. There is no background noise, no hissing that I can speak about, but there is a good clarity, a wide soundstage, and a very good resolution and definition. The soundstage of the Avant is another chapter that is quite interesting to speak about because this sounds natural towards slightly intimate. They do not have a very wide soundstage, instead they focus a lot on creating a good layering and good separation between instruments. You can easily tell which instrument is which, especially with the bass boost engaged, but they also have this way of presenting music really well defined and clear. Comparing this to most flagships in the price range, typically they tend to go for a wider soundstage and they tend to extend 
expand the sound more in width and in depth, but they create a less precise layering, while Sounds Avant is an EM that is most likely made for someone who works in the music industry. It is quite easy to tell that because the focus is not on how impressive it sounds at first, but in how good of a music machine it becomes as you keep listening to it. I'm easily able to master my own music, to work on music production with the Sounds of Ant compared to most flagships that tend to have more treble sparkle and can fatigue me easily. When working on music, you typically have to work not for one day, not for an hour or two hours, you have to work for days. You typically just have to work for days and music work is typically done at low listening volumes and you are quite easily fatigued. That is the honest truth. Usually when working with music, you don't want a fatiguing signature because after spending like 10 hours per day for multiple days on the same track and on the same pieces of music, you will want to hear that as smooth and as clean as possible without the EM adding even more fatigue than you have while well, trying to actually master and work with that music. When working in music mastering, I get this question a lot from people who are scared about the EM being colored. and they typically ask me, what do I do if my EM has a colored sound? And the answer to that is that you can't really get something that is not colored. Everything has its own coloration and its own tuning and sonic signature. What you can do is try to get yourself something that you can easily get used to, something that you enjoy and something that your ears find natural. Because if something sounds natural to your ears right now, you are going to have an easy time mastering and mixing using that EM or that headphone. It means that that is your baseline and you know how the track compares to your personal baseline. You also get used to them. After wearing basically anything for about half an hour to an hour, you get used to the signature and it starts sounding natural. The only difference is how long it takes you to get used to a signature and how long it takes you to actually be able to work with the signature. Typically, that is the sad truth, but auditory memory is a bit transient. Nobody has a perfect auditory memory. We don't really remember things on long term with our ears. We typically are very good at comparing things with our ears. And that is because that is how we evolve. It is more helpful to us as humans to be able to compare things than it is for us to know how something sounds like at an absolute level. There are humans who have a perfect auditory memory, but they aren't the majority. I do hope that the majority of you did like this video. I hope that you are finding good information at Audioval Heaven. I hope you are finding my information useful, my content enjoyable to watch, and I hope that you have the loveliest of weeks out there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new, like the video if you found it enjoyable and bye!